This is a tremendous turnout. I want to thank you for joining us here. My name is Leland Moreno Kilburn. I'm with the Prescott Chamber of Commerce Ambassadors. I'm a fellow business member within the chamber, and I'm pleased to be able to participate in this ribbon cutting event today. It is the mission of the Prescott Chamber of Commerce to promote its members by enhancing the overall business environment of Prescott. We do that by events such as this and the camaraderie that we have and the partnership that we form with the many businesses in our community. Today, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce, I want to thank you for joining us in promoting Touchmark at the Ranch. As we celebrate today the opening of the clubhouse, this clubhouse featuring Touchmark's Health and Fitness Club and the Finn Restaurant and Pub. I want to uh, ask you to join me in welcoming our attending local dignitaries today. Many of them standing behind me. I don't want to block them, but. <laughs> so today, representing Congressman Gosart's office, we have Jeff Tim. Thank you. Our Yavapai County Supervisors. Supervisors Jack Smith, Tom Thurman, and Randy Garrison. Our City of Prescott City Council Member, Steve Shiska. And Billy Orr. Oh, yeah. Billy, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Prescott Chamber of Commerce Board Member, Stephen Weisenhut. I also want to recognize our attending Chamber of Commerce um, ambassadors, our leadership and staff. First, I'd like to see a show of hands our awesome ambassadors here tonight. Yay! Right. Thank you for your continued support. This is what brings our business community together with such enthusiasm. Thank you. Here is our Prescott Chamber of Commerce President and CEO, Sherry Heine. Our Prescott Chamber of Commerce Finance Director, Harold Viewig. He's in the back there. And Prescott Chamber of Commerce Business Development Manager, let's give it up for Todd Mason. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for your support. Established in 1980, Touchmark now develops, owns, and operates retirement communities in nine states and one Canadian province. With their vision to be the premier provider of fulfilling lifestyle options for adults over 55 and seeking to enhance the communities in which they reside, Touchmark provides a program and an atmosphere that has been noted as international award winning in full life wellness and life enrichment programs. And they offer these over the continuum of a resident's lifespan within their community. Here at the clubhouse, the Health and Fitness Club is at the center for delivering full life wellness. This is open to the public for membership of adults 50 plus, and this is a fitness club that is specifically designed to promote the personal well being by encouraging lifelong health and activity. Also, here, envisioned as a restaurant to be known for its outstanding food, hospitality, and its setting, the Finn Restaurant and Pub serves breathtaking views. Innovative beverages and distinctive food in casual dining. Open to the public Wednesdays through Sunday, the Finn offers daily specials and featured menu items served both indoors and on the veranda. A private dining room is also available for business meetings, family gatherings, and parties. Touch Market the Ranch welcomes the public and encourages you to enjoy these surroundings and take benefit of the services and amenities that are offered here at the clubhouse. At this time, I'd like to introduce our, the Executive Vice President of Touchmark here, Tom Beal. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, it's a great turnout. So we've been waiting for this day for a long time because this clubhouse is our front door to the community. So thank you for being here. Yeah, so it'll be our information center, our uh, public restaurant, our health and fitness club. And this is where wellness starts for our residents. I see many residents in the 
audience today. We have people moving in, and that's where the magic really happens when people join community and bring all their lifelong uh, experiences to bear. And so we're very happy that we have people moving in each week now. And uh, there's a lot going on on the campus. So just if you're new to Touchmark, I'll give you a little rundown. We are a full service retirement community. And we've got on the north end of the property, uh, if you haven't been there, we encourage you to come and schedule a tour. We'd like to show you uh, other parts of the campus. But we have uh, 42 single family homes and we have a, a neighborhood central park. Um, the majority of those homes are spoken for already and things are really happening fast. I see our, our very capable cottage builders, uh, Bill and Lorana Bancroft, if you can raise your hand, Bancroft Homes. <laughs> So, so they were doing uh, building and remodel and everything for us in Oregon, and they agreed to come down here and help us launch this community along with half a dozen other staff that have been with Touchmark for a long time, Rich Steigelman and others, thank you. So, uh, and in that park, we have an amphitheater, and so next spring and fall, we look forward to music on the green. Uh, this next week, we have a stargazing party. Um, we have trekkers groups. Uh, last week, they were out at Granite, ba Granite Basin and um, Granite Mountain, I should say, and then yesterday they had the bus over in Sedona. So we bought this nice four-wheel drive bus and so that we can, we're gonna go four seasons and nothing's gonna stop us for getting out in the community and having fun. So, and thanks all, many of you for your businesses. You've been very, very supportive and Prescott is so warm and welcoming. It's a, a great place to do business. So currently we're employing about 35 people. When this is completely phased, we'll have about 350 homes serve about 500 residents, and we'll have a staff of uh, north of 150 people. So it really does take a village to make it all happen. So for, further down on the south end of the property, just outside the door, you'll see the Grand Lodge, and that's deep into construction now. We're starting tours, um, end of day and weekends, and, and a lot of progress going on there. And so we'll have another party to look forward to when that building opens. So. Um, <laughs> That's not only independent living, but we have assisted in our novel Nem uh, Pembroke program, which is early memory care, and then a um, lot of amenities in that building that we'll talk about later. And, um, but we're really looking forward to bring that building home and, and have the whole community come to life. So um, we're really pleased this evening to have Warner Nissler, the founder of our company, and his wife, Colleen both uh, involved every day in this company, uh, Colleen's vice chair, Warner is chairperson and founder. So I've known Warner and his family for over 40 years. He's a real gentleman and leads from the heart. Warner. I guess I'll talk from here. Well, thank you very much. Uh, and first of all, I want to thank the chamber and all of your work and for really making us feel welcome here in Prescott. And so as Tom mentioned, we, Tom and I have known each other for 40 years of time, and we worked together about that length of time. He joined uh, Touchmark in 1983, uh, shortly after I founded it in 1980. And for many years, he opened or developed and opened the community in Bend, Oregon. And so when this project came together, he thought, gosh, this gives me a chance to get out there and do it all over again. So this is not his first rodeo and not our first rodeo. We've been at this a while. And we think we really are getting everything down well. Uh, as Tom mentioned, uh, my wife, Colleen, she is the lady who came up with the, the word Finn from her great grandfather who had a winning horse in the Belmont Stakes back in 1915. So she's always wanted to name a restaurant Finn. And so this is very appropriate for that. I also want to thank uh, Jim and Linda Lee and Scott Lee for th these are the individuals who made this project possible. When we heard about this land, we came here and visited them. And I do remember we traveled up on top of this hill and it was really an Indiana Jones ride. <laughs> uh, and it was basically a pile of rocks. Now, how are you going to turn a pile of rocks into what we have here today? And so by the grace of God go us, when you believe in miracles, miracles happen. And so here we are today looking at this, inside of this wonderful community. And, but thank you very much, Jim and Linda and Scott for making this all possible. <clears throat> I, I do wanna say that uh, Touchmark is a privately held company, 
the buck stops at our desk, Tom, mine, Colleen, we have a few other people in Portland, and even though I'm no longer the CEO, I pass it over to Marcus Brewer. Um, I'm uh, the person now who goes out and gets to sample all the food, and by the way, the salmon last night was fantastic here, so you gotta try it. So I'm the, the person who can travel around now and do all this sampling and handshake and just be a, try to be a good friend to all of you. Um, as I, can, because of the fact that the buck stops with us, we're not answering to, we're not answering to a group of Wall Street investors on driving up returns, driving up returns. We measure the success of our community by each one of our residents and the resident satisfaction forms that everybody completes. And so that's how we measure success. And our thought process has always been this, is that if we can find, provide the very best of services, the very best of, of care when people do need care, the very, very best in livelihood, then we shouldn't have to worry about any bottom line because people are going to come here, they're going to like living here, and through our efforts working back and forth, we're going to end up with just a wonderful group of people, and that's what we have started already in, here in Prescott. Now, I should say that we, I believe, have only 20 of the cottage homes left, or cottage lots left, and I think we have close to 160 priority reservations in the building already. And as after people move in, and this, and again, we have the perspective of being around all of our communities all across the United States and Canada, and the number one comment that I hear from people uh, as I travel around, they say, we wish we hadn't moved sooner. <laughs> and so that's really true because that's what people think about after they have moved in and really become engaged. Just at lunch today, and I'll give you this last story, which I thought was quite touching, at least for me. Um, I was introduced to uh, Rick Devereaux and his wife uh, here at the lobby today. And, Devereaux. Now, I remember that name from someplace, and he says, well, gosh, his father lived in the Touchmark in Sioux Falls. And so then I, I reeled back in my mind a little bit, and I thought, oh, yes, I remember going to see, at that time, Dick Devereaux, who was a uh, telephone company executive, because we were trying to raise money then for our project. And so here it is. Uh, we visited with Dick Devereaux back in 1995, 96, and then he moved into the Touchmark in Sioux Falls, and now here, Rick Devereaux and his wife have moved into Touchmark here in Prescott. Wow. So you think of that legacy, and we've had people who live in Spokane, or Touchmark in Spokane, they moved back to Fargo, they decided they liked Spokane better, so they moved back again. Uh, we have a couple up in Portland. They're saying, gosh, this sounds like fantastic, because how, if we, how about if we can get a reciprocal relationship going with a couple in Prescott, they can move to our home in Portland for six months, and they can move down here for six months. So to what extent we can make that work and make that happen, we're going to try it. Again, the buck stops at our desk, and we can, we can try everything and, and anything, and we sure will do that. So with that, I just want to thank all of you for being here and for being part of this great community. Uh, uh, Prescott, this is your touch mark. Really take advantage of it and just have a lot of fun with it because we have fun every day and we just are really having the time of our lives. So thank you very much for coming here this evening. Again, for the chamber and everything that you've done, uh, Jim and Linda and Scott Lee, uh, we couldn't have made it all happen without you. So again, thank you very much. Werner, Tom, thank you very much for your representation and to the staff of Touchmark, we applaud you for your values that you place on hospitality, compassion, excellence, teamwork, and integrity. Thank you for the positive way in which you promote the health and well-being of your residents and surely those the residents of Prescott. You are a welcomed partner in our um, community in promoting the prosperity of the entire Prescott business community. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to welcome our local dignitaries to provide their recognition and proclamations of this event. So again, representing Congressman Paul Gosar's office, Jeff Tim.
The, on behalf of uh, Paul Gosar, the Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to uh, Touchmark at the Ranch for its entrepreneurial spirit and business contribution to Prescott, Arizona. Signed October 18th, 2017 by Congressman Paul Gosar. Thank you guys so much. Jeff, thank you. Representing our county supervisors, County Supervisor Jack Smith. Thank you. Oh, hold on to it, hold on to it. So, isn't this place beautiful? Yeah. I mean, seriously. Um, since day one, and, and I'm remiss, I should start out by saying we have our, our chairman of the board, Tom Thurman here, of the Board of Supervisors, Randy Garrison from the Board of Supervisors, and of course, I'm Jack Smith. And this is such an amazing project, I can't tell you, so many months, many months ago, I went to Tom and my assistant called him up and said, hey, we want a tour of Touchmark. And he said, what do you want to look at, the dirt? There's nothing there yet. And I said, I I'm excited, I just got to see it. So he took me up here and he showed me the roads and he literally showed me where the buildings were going to be. And it took a little longer than we expected, especially with the bigger building, but now it was worth the wait, wasn't it? This is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you can clap to that one. So. The quality that goes into a business like this and coming to a community and joining our family here in Prescott, it's not just about a business coming to town, it's about joining a family. And that's what we're all about here is celebrating families, wel welcoming businesses that celebrate our families into the area. So unfortunately, I do not have my certificate of appreciation with me. We are cutting back in the county trying to save some tax dollars. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's in the mail. But I do look forward to seeing the zip line from here to Walmart eventually <laughs> in the end. Anyway, God bless you guys. Thank you for this project. And we look forward to filling the big building back here as well as all the colleges. Thank you. Jack, thank you. And with us representing the city of Prescott, our city council member, Steve Shiska. Well, you know, Jack, after we passed 443, we actually had enough money to, uh, to do this. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire city of Prescott, I'd like to say it's great to have another great place to party. And we're going to offer this proclamation to Touchmark at the Ranch Ribbon Cutting today, October 19th, 2017. Whereas, Touchmark has been serving the needs of adults 55 plus and their families for 35 years. And whereas, established on November 10th, 1980, the privately held company was founded by Werner G. Nistler Jr., who continues to serve as chairman. And whereas, one way in which Touchmark supports residents' enjoyment of life in its international award-winning full life wellness and life enrichment program, which focuses on the strengths, needs, and interests of each resident. The program's premise holds that opportunities for enhanced wellness and new interests are not limited to the first 50 years of life, thank goodness, <laughs> but are a continuum of opportunity over one's lifespan. And whereas Touchmark develops, owns, and operates retirement communities in nine states and one Canadian province, more than 2,800 people live in the Touchmark communities, and more than 2,000 team members work throughout Touchmark. And whereas the city of Prescott supports Touchmark in their mission to enrich people's lives and their vision to fulfill lifestyle options for adults over 55, while supporting employees' personal and professional growth, offering investors a solid return and enhancing the communities in which we live. Now, therefore, Harry Oberg, mayor of the city of Prescott, does hereby proclaim October 19, 2017 as Touchmark at the Ranch Day. Steve, thank you for that recognition. Here then to present the Prescott Chamber of Commerce first dollar certificate, our Prescott Chamber of Commerce board member, Stephen Weisenhut. Yes, 
So on behalf of Sherry Heine, our chairman and CEO, and the Prescott Chamber and the board of the Prescott Chamber, it's my honor to present you today with the first dollar earned, dated Thursday, October 19th, 2017. Thank you very much. Thank you. thank you, sir. Stephen, thank you. Tremendous. I appreciate, again, everyone's attendance here today in celebration of this event. Your encouragement of this business is welcomed, and uh, we thank you as a chamber for your participation today. We've had our proclamations, we've had our recognitions, but we have yet to make this official. We're going to move now into the foyer, our delegation, our, our uh, dignitaries, and we're going to have the ribbon cutting. We'd like you also to kind of fill in for that, uh, that Kodak moment. We're going to coordinate this on the count of three. 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 Yay. Yay. Congratulations. It's been amazing. This, this project alone, ever since it started from a little trailer down at the bottom of the hill, and up here it was nothing but dirt. So from day one, I've been so excited about just coming up here and feeling the essence of it, now seeing these buildings and seeing the quality that's gone into it and the care and the love. It's amazing. So if you haven't been here yet, you got to check out the Finn Restaurant, the Fitness Center, and then of course the Cottages. We are joining all the other healthcare providers that came here before us, and so collectively we're bringing forward um, you know, a, a very caring environment. It's long-term care, but what we're trying to do is have a continuum of care that starts very active adult. Um, uh, nobody has a crystal ball about what their needs are going to be and so we provide very active adult and then people forget that husband and wife aren't always on the same health track and so if, if there is a difference there then we're here for them with uh, continuum of care all the way through assisted living, uh, memory care and then we want to partner with community so here we'll be uh, have allied health so we'll have home care, home health, hospice, therapies and so, and then our wellness program is already uh, partnering with various physical therapists in the hospital. Tom, again, congratulations on this grand opening of the clubhouse. Um, the Prescott Chamber of Commerce has been excited all this while to see this development come online and um, to realize that this facility is going to be offered open to the public. This exceptional restaurant, the Athletic and Fitness Club, and I want to congratulate you and Touch Mark for this accomplishment today. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Leland. I sure appreciate it.